Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. In this session and onwards, we are uh, doing chapter 24, which is Electric Potential from Halliday Resnick Walker, edition 10. Uh, by now you are all aware uh, that at the end of the chapter the exercises are divided into two groups one part is under the title of questions the other one the other section is under the, under the title of problems uh, we are taking questions in this session and uh, upcoming sessions i'll take up question number one uh, i'll read out the pro uh, read out it uh, figure shows eight particles that form a square so here it is, uh, figure shows eight particles that form a square with distance d between adjacent uh, particles. Uh, what is the net electric uh, potential at point P at the center of the square if we take electric potential to be zero at infinity? So a reference point for uh, potential is infinity, potential is taken zero at infinity. Uh, you must be all aware that potential due to a point charge potential due to a point charge related to infinity okay related to infinity related to infinity is v is equal to gamma q divided by r gamma is the electrostatic constant you can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 for this gamma q divided by r Potential is a scalar quantity, not a vector quantity. Potential is a scalar quantity, but it can be positive as well as negative. So, a uh, positive charge, positive charge develops positive potential, develops positive potential, and negative charge, negative charge develops negative potential. negative charge develops negative potential. So, potential is a scalar quantity. So, in order to find out net potential at point P, we simply have to add algebraic addition of the potentials of individual charges, no vector addition because there is not a vector quantity, it is a scalar quantity. And uh, positive charge, remember, will develop positive potential, negative charge will develop negative potential. And what is the uh, value for the potential? Gamma Q divided by R. Gamma Q divided by R. R is the distance from the charge Q. Gamma is the electrostatic constant. Now here, eight particles are uh, 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 arranged like this. They form a square with the distance between adjacent particles to be d. So this distance here is d. Okay. So half side basically is d. Let me cross check it. With distance d between adjacent particles. So this distance is d. This 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 is d here d, d, and d. So, meaning side length is twice d, okay, side length is twice d. Now, point P is at the center of the, uh, at the center of the square. So, let's look at charges pairwise. Let's look at this charge here and this charge here. They are equidistant from P, half diagonal here, half diagonal here, equidistant. So, distance is same. Charge value 4 times Q, 4 times Q. Charge value is also same. But one of them is positive, the other one is negative. So this one will develop positive potential. This one will develop equal but negative potential. So when you add them, result will be 0. So total potential of these two charges is 0 combined. These two charges taken, uh, total potential because of these two charges is 0. Same is the case if you take... Uh, minus q here and plus q here minus q and plus q again di diagonally uh, diagonally opposite corners this is this distance is half diagonal this distance is also half diagonal so distance of point p from the two charges is same so r is same charge values are same q and q but one is positive the other one is negative so the potential developed by that charge at point v will be same but opposite sign uh, of the potential due to this charge. So these two will also cancel out. So potential due to these two charges is zero. Potential due to these two charges is zero. Same is the case with plus phi u q and minus phi q. Potential due, due to these two charges will be zero. Now we have, we're left with two charges, just two charges. 
one is here minus 2q the other is here minus 2q both are negative okay both are negative so this will develop negative potential this will also develop negative potential so we have to come out of vector uh, uh, thinking now uh, if you were dealing with electric fields then fields would cancel out these two will cancel out their fields but these two will add up their fields but we are talking about potential which is a scalar quantity here so this will also develop negative potential this will also develop negative potential so they won't cancel out so rest all the particles cancel out their potentials pairwise we're left with this one and this one and distance of point p from this charge is d which is same as this distance d and distance here is also d so d and d is same distance is same charge values are same minus 2q and minus 2q so total potential at point p total potential at point p uh, will be gamma times minus 2q divided by d plus gamma times minus 2q divided by d okay which is uh, 2 and 2 is 4 minus 4 times gamma q divided by d so potential at <coughs> point p due to the combination of these charges all these charges is minus 4 gamma q divided by d minus 4 gamma q divided by d is that fine that'll do with this session